Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall delve into a practical application of parameters, custom functions and small multiple visuals in Power BI. Let's suppose we are considering investing in stocks and would like to download historical data of 10 stocks for the past two years from Yahoo Finance website. Instead of downloading the data relating to each stock one by one, we can get the two years data for all the 10 stocks in one go using parameters and custom functions in Power BI. We can have a look at the trend of the daily movement of stock prices by creating line charts and small multiple visuals. So let's head straight to Power BI desktop. On your screens is the Power BI desktop and let's click on get data. We are going to get data from the Yahoo Finance website. So in the search bar, let's type web, press the enter key and you see the web option here. Click on web and click on connect. Here we are supposed to provide the URL of the Yahoo Finance web page from where we are going to download the data. Let's go to the Yahoo Finance website. You can go to the Yahoo Finance website by typing finance.yahoo.com and I'm going to the Indian website so I'm typing in.finance.yahoo.com here and this is the landing page. In case you want to search for companies, you can search for companies here. Let's search for the price of Infosys stocks. So let me type Infosys here and you can see the prompt infi.ns. Infi.ns is the symbol for Infosys in the National Stock Exchange. So let's click on this. In the URL, you can see infi.ns, which is the symbol for the Infosys stock. And this symbol is quite crucial. What we are seeing on the screen is the summary of the data. We are interested in historical data. So let's click on historical data. By default, you can see data for one year. If we want the data for a different time period, let's click on the drop down. You can get data for one day, five days, three months, six months, year to date, one year, five years. If I click on maximum, we can get data from 1996 onwards. We are interested in having data for two years. So let's change the date here. Give the start date as 3-7-2019 and the end date is 3-7-2021. Let's click on done. We will be getting the daily stock price data. You can see date, opening price, maximum price, minimum price, closing price and adjusted closing price here. And the frequency is daily. Now let's click on apply and then right click on the download tab. We can copy the link address. Let's go back to Power BI desktop and paste the URL here. We get the data relating to Infosys stocks because the symbol of the Infosys stock which is infi.ns which identifies the relevant page for downloading data. Now let's click on OK. We can see here a preview of the data and it is a CSV file because the delimiter is comma and Power BI detects what type of data each column contains based on the first 200 rows. Let's click on transform data because we have to do a lot of transformations on this data. You can see date and the data type has been correctly picked by Power BI as the date. If you click here, you can see this is the icon for the date format. Similarly, if we click here, this is the icon for the decimal number and it's been picked correctly by Power BI. Similarly, all the columns for the prices include decimals. And if we go to the last column for volume, we can see that the data type is one, two, three, which is a whole number and the data type is correct. We've downloaded the data for Infosys, but we have to download data for nine more stocks. In this Excel spreadsheet, you can see the names of the stocks that we want to download and their symbols. This symbol is a key factor in the URL, which identifies the web page containing the relevant data. Let's rename this table as stock prices. And now we are going to create a parameter. A parameter is nothing but a placeholder and by changing the value of the parameter, you can download the data for different stocks. So let's see how we can create a parameter. In the Home tab, you can see an option Manage Parameters. Let's click on the drop-down menu. 
we can click on new parameters and it is asking for the parameter name let's give the parameter name as stock maybe you can give a description and the type of parameter that we are going to give is to be indicated here in our case we are going to give the parameter as text because the stock symbol like in fee.ns is in the form of text let's choose text here suggested values you can leave it as blank and in the current value let's give the current value of this symbol which is in fee.ns because the data that we've downloaded here is that of infosys let's click on ok and you can see that a parameter has been created here and the current value is in fee.ns in order to use this newly created parameter we need to make some changes in the stock prices query so let's select this query click on source let's click on the gear icon and click on advanced we can see the url that we gave earlier we can think of this url as having three parts up to the download slash is one part then in fee.ns which is the value that we gave in this parameter is the second part and whatever is after that is the third part there are two parts already let's create one more part let's cut in fee.ns and paste it in the second part so control x and control v now whatever is beyond download slash we shall select cut and paste in the third part let's look at the url preview we can see that all the three parts have been combined and shown here here we can see in fee.ns which is the symbol of the stock now let's click on this drop down to the left of in fee.ns at the moment the value given is in the form of text let's convert it into parameter let's click on parameter and it's automatically picked up stock which is the only parameter here now if we look at the url we can see that instead of in fee.ns we have stock the name of the parameter here so the data that would be downloaded would be whatever value the parameter stock holds let's click on okay so when we look at the stock prices we can see that the first date is 37/2019 opening price is 741 high 743 low 730 and so on now let's try changing the value in the parameter let's type itc.ns here and let's have a look at the stock prices table we can see that the data for itc has already been downloaded but it's a tedious job to change the parameter names one by one to get the data instead we can create a custom function to download the data relating to all the 10 stocks in one go let's see how we can do that right click on stock prices query and click on create function we have to give a name to the function let's name it as get stocks and we can see that it is using the parameter stock to get the stock prices let's click on okay a group has been created get stocks group contains three objects one is the stock prices query the stock is the parameter and the third one is the function get stocks in order to get data using this custom function we need to get the symbol data from this excel spreadsheet so let's get this data into power bi click on new source click on excel workbook and we have the symbols excel file click on that and click on open we have two tabs here what we are interested is only the top 10 snp50 let's click on this we are interested only in these 10 stocks and click on okay now we have the data here and the first row which is name and symbol are actually column headers so we have to change them into column headers for that we click on use first row as headers we can see that the first row has been promoted to column headers now we are going to get the stock price data using this custom function by creating a new column to this table so let's click on add column and click on 
invoke custom function, we have to give some name. So let's name it as prices. And the function query we can select from the drop down. We have only one function to select. Get stocks. Let's select that. Now, stock is the parameter. In the parameter, we have to provide values. It can be either text or column name. If we use text, we have to provide one name after the other. Ten times we have to use this. Instead, we use the column name. And the column name that we are going to use is the one that contains the symbol. So let's click on symbol and click on OK. There's some information about data privacy. Let's click on continue. This being a non-sensitive data, we can ignore the privacy levels. Let's click on ignore and click on save. The two-year stock prices for these 10 stocks have been downloaded in the form of a table. The prices column contains the table. If we click on the table, you can see the stock prices for the past two years. We don't need this, so let me delete the step. We can get all the prices in the table by expanding this column. Let's click here. Let's uncheck this box, use original column as prefix, because we don't want prices to be prefixed before each column name. Let's uncheck this. And we are interested in all the columns. So let all the columns remain selected. And let's click on OK. We have the date, opening price, closing price, etc. But when we get stocks using a custom function, the data type may not be correct. For instance, this date table contains date data, but the data type chosen here is whole number. So let's change it to date. For open, it is decimal. So we choose decimal number. We can change the remaining columns too and the volume column, the data type, has been correctly selected as whole number. This step is very important because otherwise the visuals may not give the correct picture. So we've finished downloading the data. Now we go to Home, click on Close and Apply, Close and Apply. Let's hide this table because we don't require it anymore. We have all the data that we require in this table. So let's right click on this and click on Hide. We are going to create a line chart. So let's click on this and resize the visual. Let's expand this. And along the axis, we are going to plot the date. So let's drag and drop this here. We don't need a date hierarchy. So we can click here and change it to date. And in the values column, we are going to drag and drop the closing prices. In the legend, we can drag and drop the symbol. So we can see the date-wise movement of closing price for all the 10 stocks. Some of the stocks are going up, some are fluctuating wildly, some are steadily increasing, and so on. We don't have a secondary value, so we can leave it blank. You can give a title, and we can increase the font size by clicking on the Format icon. We can turn the data labels on if we want to see the prices. We come back to the Fields tab. This chart looks a bit cluttered. To have a better view of the lines or to have a comparison of different stocks, we can use the small multiples column here. In the small multiples column, let me drag and drop the name. And you can see that the line chart has created 10 copies for each stock. So you can see the individual stock trends here. If we want to change the font size or the color, we can go to the Format tab. And you have the small multiples option here. Let's click on this. We can change the text size and the font color. So we can see the movement of the stocks very clearly without any cluttering here. In case you want to compare certain types of stocks, you have bank stocks here. If we want to compare the prices of bank stocks, we can create a slicer. This is the slicer visual. Let's click on this. So we have the slicer. And under the field, let's drag and drop the name. We have the names of all the stocks. We can click on the Format tab and click on Items. Let's increase the font size to, say, 15. And let's select only the bank stocks. So I'm pressing the Control key and clicking on Access Bank, HDFC Bank, 
ICICI Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and you can see how they are today. So we can do comparisons like this using a slicer and a line chart with small multiples option. So we've seen how easy it is to download stock prices from the Yahoo Finance website using a parameter and custom function in Power BI. And the small multiples option in the line chart visual is a great tool in comparing share price movements. Hope you found this video useful. In case you like this video, click on the like button and share it with your friends. Please watch the other videos in our channel if you love them. Please click on the subscribe button. Please don't forget to click on the bell icon because it helps you to get notifications when we post new videos in our channel. Thank you very much. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.